Hey, this is Joy. Welcome back to my channel. It's been quite a few days since I've been back, but what a great day to join you guys. This is game day for Justine. She just introduced a new line by Spellbinders, and it is everything team related. So I am showing you on the screen the All-Star Sentiment Pack and now the Sports Talk Embossing Folder that has all kinds of fun game day sentiments on it. And I'm showing you the athletic apparel, which shows um, how to make the different jerseys. And then, of course, the jersey numbers. And what's really cool about these is that you can use this for any type of number. I've even seen them on some holiday cards coming up. And then, uh, last but not least, the sporting goods set, which has like pickleball, tennis, soccer, volleyball, bowling, you name it, football. It's there. So this is just a great, great collection uh, for all of our sports players out there so i die cut everything out and then you're going to see on screen there that i am using a magnetic die holder from prickly pear stamps and that is a super strong uh, magnet to hold everything in place here i thought i would add some dimension to my red jersey and use some candy apple distress ink to add some dimension now i am making this football jersey to look like my son's high school jersey from when he played now his jersey was all red so here i am taking some glue and along the score lines i am applying that um, and they line up very nicely justine did include some of the stripping or stripes um, for the jersey if you want to wanted to build a different type of jersey or um, add some different dimension but because my son's jersey was all red that's what we're going with i did leave the uh, sleeves uninked because i thought that would give it just a little bit more of a contrast his number was lucky number 14 so i die cut the shadow layer in black and then the solid numbers in um white just to create some contrast and some dimension on the jersey of course you could use whatever number you wanted you could make it a year i mean the sky is the limit this is you know just for inspiration speaking of inspiration this is part of a video hop so be sure to check the description box below for all of the details and for the next in line and also all of the products that i'm using today will be listed below here i am using a tea roller to uh, add the word champ to the jersey and that's because i like my sentiments to be absolutely straight you could omit this if you wanted i then embossed that in white with fine detail powder powder and then used my well embossing gun to melt that very simple easy technique and then i glued on that 14 onto the jersey pretty simple so far now like i said justine did leave um some stripes like th that you could cut but i just used my uniposca pen to draw the stripes in here i'm using some brown ink to just add some color differentiation in the football now if you cut this out you could either inlay the white or you could just do a white background so you can kind of decide what you like to do i just chose to use a white background and let the um white kind of shine through then i use some double-sided adhesive foam pads and um, adhere down the embossed panel to my card base so this is an a2 top folding card base and then because i like to have a little bit of wiggle room in case i don't get my layers on straight i do use some barely art glue which is available in the, in the Spellbinder shop as well as your other places that you like to shop. So that'll be linked in the description box below. I use the same leftover foam tape to add dimension to my jersey and pop that up onto the panel. Um, you can, Again, you could admit this, but I'm a texture and feel kind of person. So I always pop my stuff up, but I know some people don't care for that. Here's where I let, made a little bit of a mistake. I um, glued down my football and then I decided on my uh, sentiment. Well, my sentiment is way longer than I wanted. So after cutting off the edges, I'm finding that it didn't fit. So I very carefully peeled up the football. 
And I think this is something that a lot of us on YouTube would admit are our mistakes. And I like to show you that we can still salvage cards. So here I am lining up. I'm your biggest fan, which I had stamped and embossed in white. And then I added the football. Turned out super cute. I was able to save it. And then off camera, I added some gems. I'm using the same sports talk um, embossing folder, but I'm using my spiced marmalade distress oxide. And I'm using my oxide because it's uh, a hybrid ink and it's chalky. So by taking the portion of the folder where the printing is like on the front, if you do that side, once you run it through your embossing tool, your, like your platinum, you will then impress that ink into the card panel, leaving the words in black. Here I took a piece of craft cardstock and I'm making my own wood grain by using some gathered twigs distress ink and I am just rubbing that across the paper, dragging that across the paper just to make a faux uh, bowling alley. So the reason I chose to do a bowling card is that my oldest daughter was on um, the bowling team. So uh, I thought I would pay homage to her. So I am backing this in a white panel just so that it will uh, pop off the page. And then I adhere that on the diagonal and I trim off the edges so that it fits on the A2 card. I then die cut the bowling pins from the Sporting Goods set and the bowling ball. And I created just, you know, a little configuration. And then I embossed um, you're, in a, you're in a leg of your own with white embossing powder and I put that across the top. To finish off my card, I decided to use some clear uh, sequins. And I just scatter those around in the rules of three so they're in triangles in different places just to add some little bit of shimmer and shine because I think, you know, my daughter likes a little bit of bling, so I thought I would um, embrace her just a little bit. So, again, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Uh, please consider liking and subscribing, and please check the comments below for the, or the description below for the next person in line on the hop. Here are some final looks at both of my cards. Until next time, keep crafting. Bye-bye, friends.